In today's video, we're battling a Yu-Gi-Oh! 10 from 2010 versus a Yu-Gi-Oh! 10 from 2005. What's up guys, we're back with another epic 10 battle video, which is gonna be super fun. We're opening up two old school 10s. This one is mine that I'm opening for myself, and this one we are opening for Melissa S. So it's gonna be an epic viewer versus me battle. Plus, it's going to be the 2005 versus 2010 battle, so it's going to be fun. But first, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Dimension Force booster box. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know which one you think will win. Will it be the Command Knight 10 or will it be the Shooting Star Dragon 10? All right, let's start it off with the Shooting Star Dragon 10. Let's see what I can pull inside you. Of course, you get the promo for the Shooting Star Dragon. What other packs do you get? I don't think I've ever opened this 10 before because we never have done all the 2010 10s at once. That's redundant. I keep saying 10, 10. You know what I'm saying. One Star Super Dark Pack. Absolute Power Force, two Shining Darkness, one Duelist Revolution. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then we get the Shooting Star Dragon and four Super Rare cards. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Today, we're going to be seeing if we can win a pack battle versus a viewer. I don't know. We're going to have to have the totals up there and see like what we can actually pull, but I don't know. Which one do you guys think is going to be better, the Shooting Star or the Command Knight? I mean, it's definitely a wide variety of packs, like different stuff, so it'll be interesting. Oh, what is this? We've got some of the Monarchs on here. Heavy Hitter, Caius the Shadow Monarch. Oh, that's what to look for in Gold Series 2009 and Star Strike Blast. Pretty cool. Reinforcement of the Army, the old look, and the new look. So is that an errata or just an updated... Oh, is this when they updated the cards? Interesting. I mean, it barely looks different, but there is sort of a new look there. All right, then there is a battle with the Wii compatible dual scanner and get your cards in the game. This is kind of like the uh, E-Series for Pokemon where they were like, you know, you slide the card and completely destroy them every time. So that's pretty cool. Tag Force 5. I might actually have that game. I'm not sure. All right, let's open this up. This thing's pretty crushed, actually. We have a Shooting Star Dragon. I don't know what's in here. Let's go ahead and open this. Should we open this? Eh, probably shouldn't open this, actually. You know what? I'm not going to open I'm going to keep it sealed. You know, a little bit of the stuff keeping it sealed. We'll see if we can keep some value here. I don't know what that promo pack will be valued at, but we'll have to guess. All right, our four packs. Oh, first we have... Yeah, make sure you get the Jump Magazine or whatever to get all the promos. Uh, sometimes they were good. Most of the time they didn't. Okay. Or they, they weren't. All right, our packs inside, our Duelist Rev, you know, we got our Shining Darkness, and then it, there's four different packs in here, which is pretty fun. Let's start off with the one where we have two, which is the Shining Darkness. Let's see if we can pull that Black Winged Dragon. We've had good luck pulling Ghosts for other people, so I probably won't pull anything here, but you never know. Let's do, is it four? I feel like it's four because that one's upside down. We're about to find out. We got the X Saber, Pashuel, okay. Magic Triangle of the Ice Barrier, very cool. Hunter of Black Feathers. Crevice into a different dimension. Synchro Magnet. Forbidden Graveyard. I also got this one as a uh, prismatic or whatever in Duel Links where they were like, you know, the spinning rarity. Uh, Wad Woodpecker, very cool. Oh, whoa, that's an ultimate rare. Guards of Black Feather, four Black Feather. An upside down Dread Dragon. That's the Grandma Dragon there. And then we got an ultimate rare. That's actually insane. It's actually harder to pull ultis out of these 5D sets versus like GX, so. This is a very good pull. I mean, it's probably like one out of every box or so. Cards of Black Feather. I don't know if this is actually valuable, but against Melissa, we're looking good. So Cards for Black Feather, very nice pull. That is a good start to our opening. All right, let's do an Absolute Power Force pack. I still have never pulled the Majestic Red Dragon Ghoster at all, so I would love to pull it. I've pulled the Ultimate Rare before, so uh, is it four? You guys think it's four and then you swap those two? I really don't know. Let's just do this. Serpent Suppression, cool. Fire Ant Ascator, very nice. Reptilian Rage. Shredder from Ninja Turtles. Reptilian Servant. Break, draw. Reptilian Naga. Advance Force, and is it the next card? It is an Ascending Soul Rare. So I think we would need to swap this in the next one. Ascending Soul Rare, okay, not too bad. Let's go back to Shining Darkness because I think Stardust Overdrive and Duelist Rare are the coolest ones we have here. So we're gonna save those for the end. All right, so I think the pack trick should have been four, and then this was the rare last time, the upside down card. Let's go like this. We have Assault Spirits, Bio Falcon, Wad Cube, Morphtronic, Scramble, X, Testudo, Arad, no way, whoa, this is the card. Isn't this the $15 card? Neither player can special summon monsters with 1,800 or more attack. I think that this is like the floodgate that they're using in... Is it tier elements? I'm not really sure. I just heard that this card got insane. Somehow they're bringing this card out like to the field so that you can't summon anything over 1800 attack. That's like a $15 card, I think. So that's really nice for our battle. Let's go Blackwing Bombardment for the Blackwing set. Very nice. X Saber Palamuro is the upside down card next, I think. The Delta Tri. Okay. And then finally we have 
Lena the Light Charmer. Just a regular old common. That's okay, though, because we got the $15 common. That's not bad. What's going to be hilarious is when that common is worth more than the ultimate rare we pulled. That's actually going to be funny. So uh, we got ourselves a nice floodgate. Pretty cool. One, two, three. I think we can do the same. I'm going to do three here just to be safe. No, actually, I think I think it might be that. I think we go like this. I'm going to I'm going to do that. We have a point of the Red Lotus, a card that used to be like $15. It's funny how 5Ds has, has so many cards that like end up being commons like that are $20. This fell down, but it's still like a dollar, I think. Ritual Buster, Relinquish Spider, Limit Impulse, Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, Ritual of Grace. We got the Bending Destiny, very cool. The Lord British Space Fighter. And is this upside down card a foil or is it just a random card? Let's see. Oh, looks like it might be a foil. We have a magic card. Ooh, we've got the Earthbound Whirlwind. Nice super. We're now two out of four on foils. And then we got a $15 common. So this is actually a very, very good 10 so far. Not bad at all. All right, let's finish my portion off with Duelist Revolution. Let's do this. We must pull something amazing. One, two, three. I, th I feel like it's been this every time. We're just going to keep up with that. We have the Monoceros. Beast Rising. I tried this at auction series. It failed miserably. I think it would have been fun if it had worked. Lock Cat, Earthquake Giant, Scrap Rage, Unicorn Familiar. We've got the Elephant. Very cool. Hypnocorn. Wait. Oh, there's one more card. Okay. Hypnocorn is here. And we have a Flambelle Fiend. All right. It is not a foil, but two out of five is honestly really good for that. And we got a couple of great comments, so I'll take it. All right. It is time to see if my total value can win in this battle against Melissa. Let's see. We have a Command 910. Let's see if this can beat it out. There's some pretty amazing cards in here in packs. Uh, we, of course, get the Command Knight promo. This is very stretchy. Oh, we punched the camera. That's okay. We have we have saved it, but this is not easy to rip off. But it is uh, almost like 18 years old at this point, I think. Something like that. Command Knight. Let's check out the foil or the uh, the card. Let's not damage it. Is there any damage already? Maybe a little bit warped. That's pretty usual, though. Back appears to be pretty clean. I love how they started using these plastic things. Wait. Couple scratches there. Not too bad. Still pretty near mint, though. Very nice pull there on the promo. Then we have our five packs. Oh, I forgot. This has the epic packs. This has like Invasion of Chaos and Magician's Force. This is going to be insane. All right, this might be a tough battle for us to win. I think we did pretty well, but if they pull something big out of like MFC or IOC, that's going to be pretty rough. So let's see if we can win the battle. Let's see if we can pull them something good as well, though. Ancient Sanctuary first. Let's see. We've got a Gigabyte in case you need more storage. Monster Gate. Nice card. Night Assailant. That's a couple bucks, I think. Dora of Fate, beautiful. Micro Ray, you gotta see the Ray of Microness. We got the Disc Fighter, he's gonna throw them discs. White Magician Pikachu. Soul Reversal, and that's where Bones got taken away in the graveyard. And we have, ooh, the first Sarcophagus, starting it off with a foil, super rare first Sarcophagus. Pretty good start, it's not a great one, but it's still pretty decent, you know, to pull a foil out of one of these. All right, four packs to go, let's go Dark. Crisis. Can we pull Exodian Necros? Can we pull, I don't know, what, like a Shinado King of Higher Plane? We could pull a, it's probably going to be Judgment of the Nubis out of a 10, I would guess. Let's do four from the back. We have a Checkmate. All that chess drama. There we go. Final attack orders. Ojama Trio. Beautiful. Guardian Elma. Cool. Sakuretsu Armor. One of the absolute best cards in here back in the day. Rod of Mind's Eye. Blindly Loyal Goblin. We've got the Mustering of Dark Scorpions. And here we go. Will we pull a foil? Ooh, a Guardian Grarl. What's up? We pull this guy all the time. I pulled this twice out of a actual first edition booster box. Now we've pulled it unlimited. I love this card. It's really, really cool. I don't know the value is that crazy, but this is a pretty sick card. Guardian Grarl, one of my absolute favorite cards out of this set. So very, very nice. Anime iconic too. All right, three packs to go. We are looking pretty decent. Two for two on this. This is pretty amazing because two for two on a 10 is really good. Let's see if we can keep it up. Of course, Verona Guardian has amazing commons like Metamorphosis, Trap Dust Shoot, uh, Maiden of the Aqua, you know, crazy stuff like that. Let's see if we can pull those or any sort of secret rare. Ultra rare Donzalug would be my pick for an ultra rare. Narrow pass. Molten Behemoth, very nice. A giant born from magma. It attacks with a magma punch. All right, very magma-y. D-Tribe. Bird face. The face of a bird. Time out. I know we've, we've said this before. He doesn't just have a bird face. He has wings. That's bird arms as well. Just keep that in mind. Time Eater. 
Need a wall, another pretty good card. Gravekeeper Spear Soldier, another pretty good card. Reasoning, another pretty good card. Just a lot of good commons in this set. And then finally we have... Dark Room of Nightmare. We are now three for three on this tin. This is insane. All foil pulls so far. Of course, it's out of the three that like you don't really care as much about. These two will be rares now because of that. All right, two to go. Can we actually pull a foil out of one of these two? Let's start off with IOC. Let's save MFC for the end. IOC original print. Let's go. Original unlimited, I guess. Let's see what we can do. One, two, three, four. Will we pull something crazy like the democ or the bls soul absorption be gone knave amphibious bugroth mk3 ryukoki this is the card yeah the card i was looking for for a while i finally did get three of these this is a really nice card in zombie decks let's see what else we got griffin's feather duster inferno we have dna transplant very nice what is up next is it a foil Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness and his Battle Prowess. And finally, we have Fuma Shuriken. I feel like I pull this guy all the time. Fuma Shuriken. All right, what I say? We pulled all the foils out of the, you know, not as good packs. The great packs are going to have rares. So that's how it's starting right now. But that's okay. One more pack. So far, it's been an amazing opening battle. We have both pulled pretty well. We pulled Ultimate Rares in this video. Ultra Rares, Super Rares. No Secret Rare yet. And we have pulled amazing comments because here's a Wave Motion Cannon. That's another really good one. We have pulled a ton of awesome commons. We have the Giant Orc, a classic huge four-star monster. Pitch Dark Dragon. Amazon is Spellcaster. Magical Science. It's just insane commons in this opening. Wave Motion Cannon. There it is. Another crazy one. Neko Main King. Another really expensive one. This one's actually pretty valuable. Sonic Duck. Very nice. And we have... Is it next? Frontline base? No, it is the next one. And we have, out of the last pack of this opening, here we go. Let's see. Great Phantom Thief. Another rare. So, unfortunately, we predicted those last two rares. But overall, three out of five is an amazing 10. A lot of really good comments. I think my 10 did really well as well. I'm interested to see what the total is. So, here is the final total to see who won. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, and then High Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.